Remember to press the like button and subscribe for more stock news updates. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. SoFi Technologies, known by its NASDAQ ticker SoFi, has drawn significant attention in recent months, especially as its stock price has climbed to $10 per share. This price point represents its highest value since early 2022, showing encouraging upward movement. And while it is frequently classified as a digital banking company, SoFi distinguishes itself from conventional banks in various ways, embracing a blend of finance and technology that sets it apart from other bank stocks. This hybrid identity could enable the company to disrupt traditional financial institutions by capturing an audience that values digital convenience and technology-driven solutions. There are five critical reasons why investors may want to consider adding the company to their portfolios with a long-term perspective. The company presents itself as a digital bank, offering a range of banking, lending, and financial services, which are accessible entirely online via its website and mobile application. Unlike traditional banks, the company does not operate any physical branch locations. This branchless digital first model is not only efficient, but also positions the company as a modern financial institution designed for today's digital era. Era. The absence of physical branches reduces overhead costs, allowing the company to focus on enhancing its digital offerings and expanding its market reach. Over time, this model has proven successful in attracting a growing number of customers, positioning the company as a popular alternative to conventional banks. The company's appeal is undeniable, as evidenced by its remarkable customer growth. The company's user base has expanded from 1.4 million at the start of 2020 to nearly 8.8 .8 million today, a surge that highlights the rising demand demand for digital banking solutions. This growth trend continued into quarter two of this year, with the company reporting a year-over-year -year customer increase of 41%. Its appeal is especially prominent among younger, high-earning adults, a demographic that is both financially influential and technologically savvy. This group is highly valued in the financial sector, as these individuals are likely to play a significant role in driving economic growth in the coming decades. By capturing this demographic, the company is positioning itself for long-term relevance and growth growth in the financial industry. One of the company's distinguishing factors is its robust foundation in financial technology, a characteristic that permeates every aspect of its business. In 2020, the company made a strategic acquisition of Galileo, a financial technology company that provides an array of essential services, including payment processing, card issuance, and embedded finance solutions. Galileo's services reach over 100 companies, including well-known names like Toast and Money Lion, across 16 countries. Together, Galileo's clients represent a total of approximately 158 million individual accounts. This acquisition has enabled the company to enhance its financial technology capabilities Abilities and provide additional value to its customers. In 2023, the company's technology platform segment, driven by Galileo, increased its profit contribution by 24%, accounting for roughly 10% of the company's total revenue. Since quarter one of 2020, Galileo accounts have multiplied fivefold, which signals strong demand for its services and solidifies the company's position within the financial technology sector. As Galileo's role in the business grows, it has the potential to become an increasingly significant contributor to the company's overall growth. By leveraging Galileo's advanced financial technology services, the company is not only expanding its own capabilities, but also gaining exposure to the broader financial technology market, which is experiencing rapid growth. Interestingly, the company's origins trace back to the student loan market, where it initially built a reputation for student loan refinancing. In 2019, the company originated $6.7 billion in loans. However, the past four years have been challenging for the company's student loan business Business due to the federal loan freeze, which has curbed demand for refinancing. Additionally, rising interest rates since 2022 have contributed to a decrease in refinancing activity. Despite the company's growing customer base, its student loan originations dropped to just $2.6 billion in 2023, a significant decline from prior levels. Yet signs suggest that these challenging conditions may be starting to improve. This potential growth represents an exciting opportunity for the company, as its student loan business could rebound strongly, driving substantial revenue and profit growth in the coming years. The company is also reimagining the traditional banking model. Most banks retain loans on their balance sheets and earn interest from these assets, which also exposes them to risks related to loan defaults. This traditional lending model can weigh down bank stocks, as a higher risk exposure often leads to lower valuations. 
However, the company's business model is evolving to include non-lending revenue sources, particularly through its Galileo platform, which contributes a significant portion of fee-based income. Furthermore, the company's approach to lending has taken a unique turn recently. Just days ago, the company secured a $2 billion funding commitment from Fortress Investment Group to expand its personal lending business. Under this arrangement, the company will originate personal loans, but will then transfer these loans, reducing its reliance on interest income. Although the company will miss out on some interest revenue, this approach lowers the company's balance sheet risk. Chief Executive Officer Anthony Noto has highlighted the company's intention to increase fee-based income, which aligns with this new strategy. By holding fewer loans on its books, the company could enhance its financial stability and potentially improve its stock valuation. While book value is often used to assess traditional bank stocks, the company's unique model, combined with Galileo's growth and reduced reliance on lending, may make earnings a more suitable valuation metric. Notably, the company reported a generally accepted accounting principles profit for the third consecutive quarter in quarter two of 2024, showcasing the benefits of its business strategy. Analysts forecast that the company's earnings could increase by an average of 51% annually over the next three to five years, reflecting the potential of its growth strategy. With the company's strong brand, loyal customer base, and diverse revenue streams, it seems plausible that the company will sustain impressive earnings growth, creating a compelling case for investment. As the company's earnings accumulate, the stock appears well-positioned to deliver strong returns for those holding it long-term. To summarize, the company Technologies presents an intriguing opportunity for investors, blending the strengths of a fintech company with the core functionalities of a bank. Its tech-driven model, increasing popularity among younger professionals and strategic partnerships, make it a unique and promising stock in the financial sector. By focusing on expanding its fee-based revenue while reducing lending risk, the company has distinguished itself from traditional banks. With Galileo contributing to its financial technology growth and a recovery in the student loan sector on the horizon, the company is poised to maintain its upward momentum. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.